Brothers and sisters, our time of confession and assurance come this morning from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. Listen to what Isaiah recounts. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying. And they were calling to one another, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and the thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim, flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for me? And I said, Here am I. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, there are a number of things that are so important and significant about this passage. First of all, just to clarify, the, the coal that uh, touches the lips, Isaiah's lips, that has been understood in, in Christian theology to be symbolic of Jesus cleansing uh, Isaiah of his sins. And of course, that makes sense because the scriptures testify that really, ultimately, only God can cleanse us from our sins. And he does so only through the Son, Jesus Christ, and his sacrifice for us. And so the burning coal there is symbolic of Jesus. But of course, for our time of confession, we must see within ourselves that just like Isaiah, we are a people of unclean lips. I am a man of unclean lips. The things that I say, the things that I think, the things that I ingest, so many of them are filled with sin. So many times my testimony, whether it is through my lips or through my hands, is broken and messed up. And so, brothers and sisters, seeing as that is true for all of us, let us come to God in a time of confession. Father in heaven, we confess along with Isaiah that we are people of unclean lips, that each one of us, each one of us is stained by sin. And so, Lord, we cry out for your forgiveness, for we have seen you. Oh, maybe not in a particular vision like the one that Isaiah has had, although through his words we are able to see just as he did. But nonetheless, through your Spirit, who has called us out of darkness and into the light, through your Spirit we have seen your Son, and through your Son, 
we have come to you, O Father. And so we have seen you, O God. And we know that we are lost. Lord, please, hear us as we confess to you those sins that we are aware of, and as we lay before you our hearts so that your Spirit may examine us. And Lord, even as we acknowledge that there are sins that we have committed that are, we're not even aware of, Lord, please hear our pleas as we take this time of silent confession. Father in heaven, thank you so much for hearing our prayers. Thank you so much for sending your son the burning ember to cleanse our lips from our sin. Lord, now please, send your Spirit into us, that where you call, we will go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, notice that when Isaiah is cleansed of his sin and when God calls from his throne, who will go for me? Isaiah steps up. Isaiah says, I'm here. Here I am. Send me. Let it be so with us as well. God has cleansed us from our sin. Let us go. Let us praise his name. Let us say, tell, share, act out the glory of God. Let us sing.